I'm doing an update to my previous YouTube video about getting rid of that annoying, laggy little circle that pops up when you try to draw in Photoshop with your Wacom tablet under Windows 10. Windows has, since version 7, I think, had a feature called Windows Ink, uh, which uh, has assumed that if you had a tablet, you wanted to use your tablet and pen to operate the operating system. That means Windows has to figure out whether or not you're doing a, a brush stroke or whether you're trying to select a tool in Photoshop. And in that millisecond of code, your stylus lags badly, or even worse, gets you this annoying little circle that pops up. You can see me demonstrate the problem in my previous YouTube, which I'll link below, since I can't uh, reproduce it, since I fixed it. <laughs> I can't seem to reproduce the problem, but you can see it in my previous video. It seems like uh, each time Windows does an update, it keeps resetting this Windows ink code. So for your edification, and perhaps more for mine, um, for, to remind me each time this happens, I'm uh, listing this process here, since it's slightly different every time it happens. So, first you need to create a notepad text file. So, you, I'm just, I've already got one ready to go here. Notepad, there we are. And you type in use system stylus and a space and a zero. And then you save the file as capital P S U S E R capital C O N F I G. So, P S user config. And uh, in my case, I saved it to uh, save as, saved it to my desktop. So I've already saved it here. There it is. Uh, that makes it easy for me to find, uh, and then I can just drag the file uh, into uh, the folder location. The folder location you're going to put it into is you're going to go to your your file manager here, and you go to this PC. You go to your Windows drive, and then go to Users. Your account name will be different, of course, than mine. Mine's DJRAT. You click in there, and I show this app data folder as being visible because I've turned that on in my settings. But you might have to, if you don't have uh, your hidden folders showing, uh, then you might have to make them visible or you have to type in the entire uh, link to uh, this file or this file location of where your settings are in Adobe. So uh, it's app data, roaming, Adobe, your version of Photoshop, mine's 2019, and then Adobe Photoshop, your version settings. So this here is the link that you need to have uh, if you need to type it out. Uh, so here I've got my drive is C, users DJ Rat, yours will be your particular username for your computer, app data, roaming, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop your version, Adobe Photoshop your version settings. Remember, these are all backslashes as well. So if you need to type that in, it's a little bit more difficult than just going in and making your hidden folders visible. So this is where you're going to drag that file. So I'm just going to go back to show my desktop here. And here's the file. And you're just going to drag it over into this folder. Now, I've already done that, so you can see my files right there. Make sure that your uh, Photoshop is not running when you do this. So uh, make sure you close out your Photoshop and then drop that file in. And then uh, you're going to do another step first before you fire up your Photoshop. That part will speed up your uh, stylus work in Photoshop. But the next part is to get rid of Windows Ink. Link. <laughs> Windows Ink. So. Here you're going to have to fire up your registry editor. So in this case, go down to, you can do this a couple of ways. Hit the Windows key and hit X and choose Run. Or you can type in regedit right there and you can run it that way. 
So let's do it with the Windows command. Dot, uh, Windows X, run, reg, edit. This is your registry. So once you've run the registry editor, make sure that you save a copy of your registry just in case anything goes wrong. You go file, export, and put a name in, the date, backup, whatever you want to call it. And I always save it to the desktop just to make sure it's easy to find. Once you've done that, then this is the key that you're looking for. It's H key, local machine, software, policies, Microsoft, Windows, Inc. Workspace. Now, Windows, Inc. Workspace won't be there uh, because once you get down to, let's go through this, H key local machine, there it is, and then you open up software, and then you open up policies, and then Microsoft. If you open up Microsoft and then you list, you'll see that you'll have all of these probably, but not this one. I've already created this one. So in Microsoft, you're going to right click on this left pane on Microsoft and you're going to create new key. And the value you're going to put into it is Windows Inc. Workspace, all one word. And then you'll end up with a new folder, basically, Windows Inc. Workspace. And then you click on that, and this will be blank. This won't be in here. You right-click on the blank space here and create new key D word, 32-bit value. Once you've created that, you type in Allow Windows Inc. Workspace, all one word, and you leave the value at zero. Once you've done that, just close the registry, and your Windows Inc., once you've rebooted your computer, will be completely gone. Voila. And since you put that uh, setting into your Photoshop and the Windows Inc. is gone, you won't have the lag and you'll have a, a speedier drawing experience. Thanks for watching.